beautiful people it's your boy peter and i'm back again with another video to god be the glory great things he has done yes man so um this morning guys it's another day it's another dollar another day for them put them on here one got nice enough beat one of them already yes guys as I tell you, you see, without any further ado, let me just jump in at it. A big up all to my subscribers, them. Big up all of the people them, who support Peter from, you understand? Big enough up, love enough. Yes, guys, you understand? And trust me, you guys must have wonder. I just wonder why I pull my heart out because you know there's a little thing happened and I'm, and I'm so hurt and we have to talk about it. You understand what I say? Because as my wife tell me, as my wife talk it early, I say, and every jump on you know ear knock. <laughs> and every jump on you know ear knock. One of you run to. No, yeah, and we understand that sometimes we have to see God's face first. Some things happen, you know, and we, 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 we like we are trying to question God, but we're not supposed to question Him, you know, because God does things in a mysterious way. Sometimes God does things to elevate you. You understand? Because sometimes some things happen, don't even question it. Because it's happened for a purpose. You understand? Steve Harvey said, When a man closes one door in your face, he said, Don't worry, he said, Don't fret. Just walk up the, 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 the hallway, walk up the staircase. There's another door up, up there waiting for you wide open. You understand? There's another door up there um, um, ready for you wide open. So don't worry yourself. You understand? When one door closes, don't worry yourself. No fret. There's another door up the stairs. Well, open a wait for you. And as I tell us, my wife says, sometimes we don't have to jump on every jump on we knock. We feel ready, quick, jump, figure dance. You understand? And I understand. I understood all what she's saying. And she's right. You understand, guys? She's right. Yes, guys, I tell you, she's so right. Because sometimes we just jump in, them say all they say, jump out a, a, a frying pan and jump in a fire. But that happened to me some of my time. Because sometimes we don't wait for God for God direct. We, you understand? We don't wait for God for God direction. So you see, next time you're doing something or you're going somewhere, you ask God intervention. You understand? You ask God to intervene, ask God to lead. And direct, because sometimes it make things happen to us. Because you go on, <clears throat> we lean on our own understanding. Do you understand? And we do things and we wait upon God. Because I believe that if we did wait upon God, we would have never get you out of church. You understand? People wouldn't would not chastise with. People wouldn't have slaughter with. And the moment. The moment you, you start talk, people have said this and people have said that. But let me tell you something. It, it is so simple, said and done. Some people uh, uh, talk about love. Why people, why? Church people love talk about love and they can't practice what they preach. Why them love talk about something when they can't, they can't, they're not practicing what they're preaching? That me I talk about. Why they're not practicing what they are preaching? Hmm? Why they're not practicing why they are preaching? That are my question. 
why the minister of the gospel are not practicing what they are preaching hmm? and 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 when you know see it as a as a, a a little brother or a deacon or anybody in the church see it and you talk them ready to chastise you you understand I I am always say to people if a person knows that him and a thief when me say you are thief why you should I be offended and you know you are not thief Eh? If right now, if a person see me on the road or come in at the church and say, Deacon of Batman or Deacon of Fornicate, you see, two me know me no Batman and me no Fornicate or me no murder nobody, that no have nothing to do with me. The only thing I try to figure out is who that. You see me go down and my wife here and I so 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 and I say wifey I wonder who that they matter Because to me know my conscience set me free Me a pray and that not offend me That would have never offend me I would have never in a history take offensive of that I mean one after me and nobody man But you see once as my, as my wife said once You take a big stone and fling in a hog pen and you hear the, 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 the first hog who ball out and him get that lick. So what you going to do? What you going to say? When the hog ball out, the one who get the lick, him going to ball. Anytime you fling the stone at that pen, and the one who get that rotted lick, him going to go ball. You can't say, yes, me lick a hog. You understand? You can't take offensive if you know. You mustn't take offensive if you know, say, you are not guilty of what or whatsoever. You understand? If you, if me, a sing about mango, I mean, I want nobody to comment about mango, me don't sing about it. Then, how you know, pan a platform, a talk about hip hypocrisy? Bad mind people, war monger, and all of them type of people there. So, I know somebody attack. Who get offensive over it? Who call your phone or who a chat? Who get offensive out over it? Who get offensive out of it? Because you attack. Because all the way you say, and I call and I call and all of the people them who name fly by day and pitch by night they know so them are not eat so nobody that them no pay that no mind them no answer because that's that enough for them because them are not that so so why a person would have to get offensive if you know you don't guilty of the charge that's what I'm saying Why do you get offensive if you are not guilty? And in a, and, and a call call up my name. Where you call up my name for? After my name call your name. Me call your name, brother. Where you call up my name for? You don't need to call up my name because I never call your name. Me need, you don't need to call my name. I never call your name. You don't, you don't need to call my name. And I chat you and your people them. You don't need to call my name because I never call your name. I said, pastors. Pastors, I never call your name, General. So I don't know where you call my name for. I never call your name, Dan. You should never call my name because I never call your name. You got a quote with you right now, you lose because this boy I never call your name. So I don't know how you call up my name. Where you call up my name for, Dan? After I never call your name. I never call your name. So I don't know why you call up my name. Never know. We never call me. No, so I don't have plan for me a long time because I'm here. But you are going, it, it, it is a coincidence how it play out in your hand. So you get the opportunity now. 
Because I, I hear that long time, so I don't plan to throw me out. I tell my wife, and if you think I joke me, I make. I have a sister where I talk to. And ask them if I don't tell them that traits I don't plan to throw me out. I know that long time, because I talk in it. Your own member talk in a church. Say, I'm me, they want to left. Them not worry about who gone already, but who for left, them no one left. Them talk you already. And me here when I plan for me, me hear that. So that's why you see some of my time, me not even come around there. Me not even come there because me here when I plan for me. So I don't know where me do. And now your people, them talk about me about the hand where I feed me. Tell them, say, try and tell them, say, me never take up my phone and call none of you people and beg on one night dinner. I call them and tell them if you bring nothing, come give me. Tell them that, so tell them if you get them facts straight. Tell them say I never beg you nothing at all. Nothing at all. Never beg none at all. So when they say we are by, we bite the hand we feed with, tell them them out of that JPS and feed me. JPS and feed me. I never come on there and tell none of you say me hungry. I me mean, want a money to buy a medicine for my wife. Never in her history. Me never tell them. No, no. Listen. Don't talk. Tell them say don't say that word again. But bite and we feed. What kind of bite and we feed? You never feed. You never feed me. Anything me. You never, you never feed me. You never feed me. Please don't do that. Me not. Me not trouble. You know. You run me out of the place. So let me be. Tell your people them to stop because me not trouble. You know. I would never see no one and throw no word for So tell the people to stop. But bite and we feed. What kind of hand we feed? You don't feed me. I'm too no man. You don't see me do things under style. Anything you don't give me. You don't notice me do it under style and take time to give you back. You don't see it. I take time to give you back. You don't little, little bit by cash. I take time and pay me pay for. Because I know. I see it happen already with two. I mean, no set no come a time, so that's why I'm mean, not take nothing for honor. Oh, Anything you know, give me, me take time, give you no money for back, but you don't know, know, and that's sykes. Come I mean, take nothing free from none of you. So you don't talk about bite and we bite, bite and we feed, you know, don't do that, please, don't do that. Don't you know, ever do that again. Don't do that. Throw me out of the place and you know, let me be, man. Let me be. And in end of my life, that sometimes it's every, set, every setback is a comeback. God have him a reason why, so just let it be. Just let it be like that. Please let it be like that. You no come off of me, Kies. You no come off of me, man. You no come off of me. A whole of thing me on the chat, so I'm here. But you see, too, I'm not in the social media war with nobody. I know I nothing because I'm bigger than that. But I just send a message to tell him, I say, you no come off of me. Come off of me, please. I am now more part of you know, you know, come off of me, that's what you know, said, you know, come off of me now. I mean, I love man, you know, come off of me case. Come off of me case. Please. Come off of me case. Because, I mean, I, say, I, do, I said and I do nothing wrong. If I get all of this when I get, I said, I not because, Somebody reach out to me straight from America and said to me, say, listen, a young man reached out to me. And the young man reached out to me. The young man said, listen, I was on the live and I hear and I never expect a certain things like that would happen because he must say, listen, let me tell you something. People have you up long time. Long time people have you up because if they never have you up, that would never mention. As a big, as a big minister in our gospel, Something like that. You call you call the boy. Cause well, as since as me had that. Call the little you that boy. And I said to the little you that boy, I said, yo, I want to see a right pan something. And then the little you that boy would have, would have respect you enough and said, no, that's not yours. We are just talking. But no, because you're hot for me. And a long time, you have planned something for me. You don't move, you don't go away, yeah, man. Oh, I'm too, no, man. Me and you have nothing for you. I'm glad I never take nothing from you, you know, man. I'm glad I never take nothing from you, you know, man. You know, me, both, both bite and feed, you know, feed me. You know, can't feed me. Oh, I'm too, no, man. I'm glad I never take nothing from you, you know, man. I'm glad I never take nothing from you, you know. That me I tell you, no. I'm glad. 
And when me have never come to Uno, nobody never send no envelope come give me to Uno that's no can say, yeah. The, 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 the amount of sitting there with Peter have a wee get it for him, you know, go away. You know nothing about me. <laughs>